one. Heat one. Three to transfer. Six Heat one. Late model. Today for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series at Fortunately for him, it doesn't look like uh, any damage to that 51 car, so he'll be able to rejoin the rear of the field and get kick-started once again here in heat race number one. Let's take a look at what happened. They all got jammed up there down in turn number two, and because of that, that's why Furman wound up spinning in that number 51. Looked like a Walmart parking lot on Black Friday, didn't it? Holy cow. It looked like Justin Duty kind of just over that number 15. Everybody up and nobody had anywhere to go. So you get Mark Overall and Lucas Oil official down there on the Dennis Herb Jr., the Rhino Lag Ideal Ready Mix Black Diamond. So Herb, a little cosmetic damage there. Fans at home, they notice. How about those nose pieces, how they lean them out there to the left? And you have that on the right side there, and they have the airflow underneath the car there. Oh, aerodynamics very important here in dirt late models, especially over the course of the last five years or so. I never thought we'd ever hear the term arrow push yeah. in a dirt late model race, but especially when you get on some of these bigger racetracks, it certainly comes into play. Let's take a look at one more time the replay of what happened. Watch that red white car, Justin Duty, down there in turns one and two. See over right and then we'll find nowhere to go. Earl Pearson Jr. are the one. Nowhere to go as well. I think Justin might have been a little upset that Kyle Bronson trying to get it a little hard in that corner and then, but it's a redo, so again the winner of this race starts in the pole here tonight of the 40 lap main event, the winner of heat number four here in the group qualifying. And what a heat number four, that front row Jimmy Owens and Bobby Pierce. Oh my Bob. There we go. Ready to get this kick started once again. Duty on the outside, Bronson on the inside. Will Bob Shepard, you're 
I'm sick, so we'll see what happens here. How impressive is this lineup here if you consider we're only going to lock in three drivers from each heat race? Right now, if the race were to end here, on the outside looking in would be Dennis Earp Jr., Earl Pearson Jr., Brandon Shepard. Those are three huge names right there that wouldn't be in tonight's race just yet. But there are no provisionals again here tonight. 24 cars will be locked in after the six heats and three B mains. Tyler back out again. Yes, you did hear that right. Three B mains tonight. He's willing to take the top two. Those, however, will be 15 laps in length due to the car count here tonight. But just a minute.